Hi there, welcome to another Friday Findings video. On my blog and in these videos, several times I have mentioned that I've used copper wire that was reclaimed from electronics. So today I thought I would tell you just a little bit more about that. So here is some copper wire that was reclaimed from electronics. This finer gauge wire was mostly taken from the insides of televisions, and I'll tell you more about that. And then this heavy gauge wire, this is 12 and 14 gauge wire, was taken from the inside of Romex cables. Now I'm not going to be telling you how to do this. I actually didn't reclaim either of these myself. My husband got this wire and my son got this. But I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, first of all, all you really need to get this wire is a sharp knife to cut the cable. Of course, you want to make sure that the cables are, aren't plugged in anymore, that they're discards. And then you just split open the sheathing and you can pull out your copper wire. The wire from TVs and electronics is a little bit more complicated. Most of these come from a yoke that's on an old television. It looks like this. When you take apart the televisions, there's a tube on the back, and then there's this piece. This is from a small one. And I will warn you that old TVs can hold a charge for some time, and you can get yourself a nasty shock. So make sure that you do your due diligence and take all the safety precautions necessary if you want to reclaim this wire. There are plenty of videos out there showing how to do it. Now one way that folks will get at the wire that's in here, and there's actually four coils of wire in here, two that you can see and two on the inside. And some folks will take this, put it, wrap it in a towel and bash it with a hammer. I asked my son why he didn't do that. And he explained if you do that and you want to use the wire, it can end up with nicks and dings. So I'll leave that up to you. And once the wire is pulled out, it looks like this. And then you just have to find an end of wire and start unwinding it. Sometimes it looks like this. You can see it's got a reddish tint and then sometimes it's just copper. These ones have some sort of shellac or resin coating on them. And another place you can find copper is in motors. So if you have some electronics that are going to be discarded, make sure you take your safety precautions and then take a look inside. You may find yourself some wire that you can use. And if you're not sure what gauge it is, you can buy yourself one of these little gauges that you can just slip the wire into to see what size it is. Now I'll tell you the truth, I've done the math. If you're interested in making more than a few dollars an hour in reclaiming this wire, it's actually less expensive to just buy fresh wire. However, uh, if you want the satisfaction of recycling some wire, and using something that would otherwise go in the landfill, and if like some of us you have more time than money, then it might be something you'd be interested in doing. I thought I would just show you real quick one more thing, and that's how to remove this coating that's on the wire. I do that with just the use of a tea light, and then you want two pairs of pliers because the wire will get hot, and we're actually going to burn off the coating. Now nobody in my household has mentioned any off odors or bad smells coming from me burning off this coating, but I would still strongly recommend that you always do it in a well ventilated area. You could see how the flame flares up a bit when it gets to the coating, and then you'll know that you've burned it all off when it doesn't flare up. See there it flared up, and you just kind of gently pull it through the flame. And then the final step is just to use some fine grit sandpaper and sand off that black fire scale. Just pull it through. Don't pull it through too many times. Just do it minimally because every time you pull it through you're work hardening your wire and especially for this fine gauge wire uh, you can you know, make it so brittle that you won't be able to use it. And then I'll just show you an example. This pendant, all the wire wrapping that was done on it, 
was done with reclaimed wire. So I hope this has given you some ideas for maybe ways that you can recycle, save a few pennies, keep some things out of the landfill. It's very satisfying to reclaim something that would otherwise be thrown away. Thanks so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. If you like this video, please make sure you've subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it, and check out the other two videos up on the screen. Also, check out my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net, where I have lots more creative ideas and inspiration. Happy creating. Bye-bye.